Hey guys, welcome to my video. Um, last night I did a video on this outboard motor. Uh, for those of you who hadn't seen it, I'd suggest watching that first. Um, but I'll just kind of run through it. It's a 48 volt motor, um, Newman type, so we got the big coils and the magnet in the middle. Um, I also, am, while the motor is pulsing and rotating, I'm extracting that spike energy and circulating it back through the system. So the output comes out right here. Instead of going back to the motor, we're gonna go through this amp meter up here. So you'll be able to see how much power goes back. And then this is the voltage on the capacitor. So you'll be able to see all that too. Um, let's do a quick walk around. Those of you that didn't see the video last night. So three coils, two magnets. And then um, it's our little uh, that's the 48 volt battery. It's 96 amp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate, and that's the voltage we're running. In the, and the 0.8 amps is is just the fans running at the moment. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to run it and be able to show you um, how much power actually gets routed back into the system, and that the battery um, is just kind of supplementing it. So uh, I changed out the twist throttle for good acceleration to a little pot um, just so I could turn it up real slow so you guys could kind of see what how this motor actually works with the output. So I'm going to fire it up right now and um, we'll zoom in on this so you can see this. So we're just going to bring it up about 2 amps right now. So the motor you can see in the water prop spinning so pretty slow rpm right now but um, if you look at the amp meter you know we're doing about two and a half amps recovery back to the motor itself here's the voltage 53.92 and uh, this voltage is 53.07 so all it needs is you know a half to three quarter of a volt more than the battery and the power will be routed back to the motor and being used so let's bring it up some more. So this is basically five amps. I don't want to. And um, this is what we're putting back into the motor. So a little over five amps, about six amps. Here's our battery voltage. Uh, you can see the load in the, in the water there. So right now we're doing a little more than 50% recovery, um, just like on the previous one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up. Let's try 8.5, and then you can see up here for nine, motor's spinning faster, water's getting turned more. And um, let's bring it up a little bit. Get up to 10 amps. So here's 10 amps. And uh, we're producing 10 amps back to the motor. The battery voltage. Now we're definitely moving some water. Bringing this up. Let's try 15 amps. So 15 amps. Now we're doing about 12. So as the motor um, starts using more power, um, the pulse width modulation is going down. So we're creating a little bit less power. So I'll get it up to 20 amps. So here's 20 amps, and now we're, we're getting about 12 amps. You can see we're really doing work, so as we keep bringing it up. So right there, we're doing 50 amps, and we got 15 amps recovery, but we're 
really pushing water now. So, bring this back down. So yeah, as you guys could see, you know, on the lower lower power end, you know, we could get up to close to 60% recovery, you know, from two amps up to about 10 amps, and then it goes down to about 40%, and then down about 20% once you get up to full power. So, you know, when, when this motor is running out of the battery at five amps, the motor is actually consuming 10 amps. So you're getting a lot more power out of the motor than what the battery is actually doing. So, you know, if I didn't have this system on here, we'd be doing 10 amps out of the battery. So that, that changes it from, um, when you're doing five amps, you got basically 20 hours of runtime and then you go up and you're gonna, you know, half that into 10 hours. So yeah, at the lower speeds, we could double the, the distance you could run off that small battery. So pretty neat. So anyway, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching.